Welcome back to Stasis. Let's take a look at these rotting, bug-covered corpses. Uh, it's not pleasant, but it's gotta be done. Another gruesome victim of the indiscriminate slaughter. This one has a strangely wistful look on his face. As if it were imagining an escape into the cheery landscape on the walls. Poor bastard. Looks like he didn't even manage to get out of his bunk. This is... Oh, this is Grant. I wonder if the other one is Harry. You know what's worse than being a janitor? Being a space janitor. The shit I literally have to put up with is unbelievable. I mean it. My job is to control the recycling of methane expulsion from human waste. Shitty is an understatement. Plus, I can barely understand my coworker. I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. Whoa, wait, what? I think he's Polish, but he only speaks Spanish. <laughs> wait a minute, what? Why would a Polish person only speak Spanish? Oh, come on, the coffee wasn't that overheated, was it? You'll be fine. Your lips will heal back, don't worry. Just go bathe in the spawning vat. The clone vat, it'll heal you right up, don't worry. Anyway, yeah, why would somebody who's Polish speak only Spanish? I don't, I don't understand. Isabella's been talking to me. I hope she doesn't have any ideas. I'm really not into that. Even if she was a guy, she's just so difficult to deal with. I think she purposely leaves some shadow of a doubt that she might have some feelings for Harry, just so that he'll hang around. The poor guy's obsessed. It's creepy. But it's also the teeniest bit sweet. Hmm. I think more creepy than sweet. I mean, she described him as a stalker. If you, if you start feeling like somebody is a stalker or stalker-ish, then that, yeah, that's not sweet. I think Jupiter is finally done growing. She was such a cute little kitten. Now she's big and doesn't cuddle anymore. Harry's allergic. He thinks that I keep Jupiter around just to mess with him. Really, I don't. She gets in the way sometimes, but she's the only living thing that really understands me. I love that little that little kitten. Big kitten. Aw. Jupiter. That's a lovely name for a cat, Jupiter. Spacey. Do you think the cat's alive? Do you think the creatures would kill animals as well as humans? Hmm. I don't know, but cats are good at hiding. They can get into small places. Who knows? Maybe she hid in the vents or something. Isabella smacked Harry straight across the face today. I think he called her a pet name to her face. I would have been flattered. Poor guy. Oh my god, she smacked him because he called her... What, what was it, Belle? Oh, wow, that's a little extreme. He's still a fucking creep, but that's uncalled for. Everything is so une uneventful around here. Maybe that's a good thing? I've been trying to talk to Isabella to see if she's interested in Harry. I don't think so, but I want to make sure. It would help me sleep a little better. Interdepartmental pool to win 64 days of leave? What a joke. Kitchen, security, and maintenance aren't even eligible. When they're the ones that keep the ship running. Oh, wait, I guess that makes sense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that does make sense, actually. If they're the ones that keep the ship running, then you really can't do without them. This fungus shit is everywhere. It's already in the methane collection plant. Shelby's such a cow. She says she hopes it gives me cancer. But that way I could start over with new organs courtesy of Kane Corporation, of course. I told her that there, there was only one organ I really wanted, but that Harry was too busy following Isabella. Shelby said, Oh, it all makes sense now. You go, girl. But I'm not a girl. Could have been worse. 
I just hope that she can keep a secret. I don't want everyone involved in my business. There's only one organ I really wanted. <laughs> I'm sorry. Why did you want to be with Harry the fucking stalker creep? Like, that'd be a pretty big turnoff to me. Maybe he was really pretty. But even if he was really pretty, that would be a pretty big turnoff. This mushroom plan that hydroponics came up with is came up with is not working. If anything, it's made life in the plant just a little more grueling. Damn, the death portobello super mushrooms didn't work. People have been complaining to me about weird smells coming from the vents. I swear it's not the plant. I can smell it too. Emergency rations. I snuck some food to Jupiter first. She was acting a little loopy. I noticed just today that Harry has the most adorable way of stuffing his face. He always inspects whatever he's about to eat before he takes a bite, then shoves as much in his mouth as he can. Ah, the simple things. Wow, Grant was really spitting with Harry. Adorable Harry the Stalker. So cute. Power's out in places around the ship. Hopefully the plant isn't next. That sure wouldn't end well. I haven't seen Jupiter since the Tremors. I can only make assumptions. Oh god, I hope she's safe. I don't want Harry to get hurt in all of this either. He's such a little guy. I've been following Isabella around to get closer to Harry and make sure he's okay. I don't know what's going on, but suddenly it doesn't matter whether or not he could he could ever whether or not he could ever care about me. Those guys who went to work on Station B haven't come back yet. I've been trying to sleep as much as I can now so I can stay on my toes when everything goes to hell. I've cried a little as well, partly because of Jupiter and partly for reasons I don't understand. I don't want to burden Harry by telling him about how I feel. I know it will just confuse and upset him. I'm really hopeful that we'll all make it out of here, but Shelby's pessimism is contagious. I don't know. Will I ever have another chance to open my heart to someone? I'll have to hope so. I just can't tell Harry. Aww. Grant sounds like a really lovely person. Some of the beds here support a small safe, which is obviously used... Which is obviously used personal effects and valuables. Please tell me it's not locked. Oh. Oh, it's empty. There's another one over there. Alright. <clears throat> this corpse has been savaged. Its leg is nothing more than tendon strapped bone. Is this Harry? I'll never get used to this. <laughs> mm hmm. This is Harry. Belle says she's fine. I'm going to keep an eye on her. I had a nightmare that Belle killed herself, so I checked on her just to be sure. I hope I didn't wake her. Grant wouldn't have checked on her. That dick doesn't even know how to care for a lady. Not a lady like Belle. Wow, Harry is creepy. I sure hope nobody catches me growing these herbs. The space is so empty and cold. And Belle seems like she needs the comfort. I don't care if I get caught, but if I did get caught, Belle would know that I'd truly do anything for her. Belle seems super frustrated today. I stopped asking her what was wrong because she got really mad at me the other day when I did that. I feel like I'm making her angrier every time I speak to her. She's upset and I can't do anything about it. She spoke to me today. I'm so glad everything is okay. I lost so much sleep over her last night. If she only knew, she'd feel so special. Oh my god, Harry is such a fucking creep. He's creepy, but at the same time, it sounds like he honestly maybe just has a, like, straight up has a mental disorder. 
Like, this is really obsessive behavior. Grant keeps bringing his goddamn cat into the sleeping block. I'm allergic and he knows it. I shouldn't need a shot of epinephrine every time I go to bed. He thinks he's a badass because he managed to sneak a cat on board. Bell probably thinks he's so cool. Why can't she see that he's a total dick? <laughs> I think Grant was the only one that wasn't a dick. I decided to stay in the Groom Lake so that I can be with Bell. I don't like it here, but I love her. Some guy in engineering says that there's a fungus on the ship. I wonder if it's poisonous. If it is, I bet I could lifejack a I bet I could hijack a lifeboat to fly Bell home. The fungi is all over in hydroponics. I have an idea though. What if we engineer another invasive fungus to take out the alien one? I honestly don't think it'll work. I suggested it as a joke at first, but Bell thought it was a great idea, so now we have to do it. Grant's been following Bell and I everywhere. I know she thinks he can keep her safe, but I know he can't. He's so full of himself. I think Grant's cat died during the tremors and the chaos. Good fucking riddance. The guy's been sobbing for almost a day now. Maybe now Bell will understand that he's not fit to protect her. Jesus Christ. Grant, why did you like Harry? Harry is such a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck that guy and fuck his cat. He's been crying. Bell needs a true alpha male to protect her. Not that stupid boy with emotions. Men aren't supposed to have emotions. I think I'd die for Bell. It's pretty much been established that something's running around and killing people. I'm going to fight it when I see it. It'll only get to Bell over my dead body. She'll die knowing that I gave my life just to tack a couple of seconds onto hers. <laughs> Wait. So, so he's... Wow, huh. He feels really confident but also unconfident at the same time. Like, he's all like, hell yeah, I'm gonna fight this thing, but he's not like, hell yeah, I'm gonna fight it and defeat it. He's like, hell yeah, I'm gonna fight it, and I know it's gonna kill me, but hey, at least she'll have it a couple more seconds before she gets hideously murdered, too. So, he's not quite crazy confident there. Please be something in here, please be something in here. Hmm? bedsheet. Hmm. What can I do with a bedsheet? Well, if it's cold, I suppose I could wrap myself in it. That'd be nice. Breathtaking backgrounds for people who will now never see them again. Old blood is flaking off this locker, exposing the remarkably shiny surface below. Alright, let's make sure I'm not missing another chest. No, it seems like it's just the two. So two PDAs. The one locker with the bed sheet. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay, um... Hmm... Where does that leave me? I wonder if I could do something with the motion detector. Like, what if I... Cover the motion detector with the bed sheet or something. No, that won't work. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.
I wonder if we got security cameras again. Does it still show me in that room? It still shows me in that room. That's really weird. I, I think it's just an oversight. Yep, still poisonous gas there. Atmosphere control access. Yeah, so I need to get through the motion detector to actually change the atmosphere to be able to go into the tram place that's covered in, like, toxic gas. And I can't move when that's happening. Yeah, I can't move when that's happening, so I can't, like, run over there to do something. So, where does that leave me? Like, what do I do with this bed sheet? I could use that to wrap something up? Hmm. Uh, maybe. Hmm. No. Oh, whoa. Can actually look inside and it actually reveals what's in there. Life support, atmosphere control. These pumps manage the dispersal and collection of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and other atmospheric compounds through the ship. Yeah, just reach through. Come on. Just stretch really far and you can get it, John. Dead body. Whoa, what? Well, there's nothing I can actually do without being able to get inside, so... Nope. Hmm. I need something to move. Like, I'm just imagining this linen bedsheet, like, blowing in the wind or something. Making motion... No. Crazy. It'd be crazy not to, John. Come on. That's just crazy. You're crazy, John. You ever thought about that? Maybe you're crazy and, and I'm not. Maybe I'm sane and you're crazy. Maybe you're still in stasis and this is all a dream. Ever thought about that, John? Oh, did I blow your mind? With my existential crisis? Can I use it on myself? I don't think this will fit. Alright, so I've got a drill and a bed sheet. I can't see it working like that. This is not gonna open until I clear it out. John, wait. There's a highly corrosive gas on the other side of that door. Yeah, I've already cycled the lock. John! That must be a compromise. Oh well. Death is in. <laughs> You know, I'm glad I did that, because I want to see all, I want to see all the unique ways that you can die in this game. I just wonder where my save is from. I don't have the bed sheet anymore. Balls. Alright, well I'm gonna go get the uh, bed sheet again and then I'm gonna Morning. try to find something. Serotonin. Okay, so I think I found what to do. I didn't realize before, but this uh, torn up floor grating is actually a place that I can go. So it's not just a thing I can look at, but I can actually go here. Although I'm guessing it's a little bit too much of a drop, so I probably need to use the bed sheet to uh, make my way down. Mm-hmm. <sighs> okay, now let's see what I can do. <sighs> Easy goes. Oh shit! Oh shit! John? Is this the... Damn it! How the hell am I gonna get back up? God, John! You're gonna get yourself killed! Hey, this is all new to me. Is this the sewers? Am I walking through sewage? This passage of sludge reflects the maze of slats above, creating a queasy illusion of infinitude. A dense web of pipes obscures the view after just a few feet. An unfamiliar smell emanates from the corroded drain. Can I look inside it? Nope. 
Alright, which way do I go? Uh, let's go this way. I sure hope something doesn't chase me down here, because I can't move very fast. Oh, god. A massive open drainage pipe rings the center of the room, just barely protruding above the flood of sludge. Andre Sens, science officer. Manchuk Steward. Methane gas tank. Gas tank full of methane sits encased in a complex housing berth. Cautionary text runs down the side of its pipe of its pipes in small print. Yeah, methane is highly explosive. Gotta be really careful with it. Pump station diagram. Ooh, am I gonna have to do something with this? A diagram of the pump station spans a large portion of the room. Printed matter doesn't have a tendency to lose power. Good. That is very good. Also, there's a bunch of valves. Release valves. Hmm. I feel like I have to get here at some point and mess with those things, but it looks like not right now. I can't even get up there. Although we obviously could just grab on, but he doesn't seem to want to, so let's go up here. <laughs> Jupiter! Goddamn cat! Jupiter! You are alive! Here, get it, get it, get it, get it. Come here, come here. If that cat gets eaten by a monster in front of me, I'm uninstalling this game. A mangy feline purrs uncaringly at its present predicament. Backed into a corner. Oh. Yeah. No. I can't believe that just happened. I fucking knew it. You can't have an animal in a sci fi horror game without it getting eaten by a monster. God damn it. I guess I'm uninstalling the game. Ah, oh, fine, I'll continue. Is somebody singing? Every single day, Grant brings his poor little cat to the plant. I swear to God, it's going to die of methane inhalation. I did a number on my ankle. Doc says I'll need to keep any weight off it for a few days. I hope Grant can pick up the slack for me. Some of these idiots think the fungus spreading through the Groom Lake was caused by aliens. The place is disgusting, so of course it's going to be overrun with mold. A few guys try to get Tram Station B repaired. I wanted to go and help, but I don't know shit about trams, or stations. Anyway, they haven't come back yet, so everyone's more than a little worried. The guys in Sleeping Block B are absolutely fucked. I'm reasonably sure that we're next. Stacy almost didn't make it in. Poor girl's too young for this. <laughs> That's a funny thought. Who is old enough for this? Who reaches a point in their life where they figure they're ready to be ripped apart by God knows what? Good, that's a methane canister, and what is that? 
Leaking methane gas, okay. Yeah, clouds of methane rise from the ruptured tank, filling the room. I need to be really careful about any source of spark or flame. Tim, methane is explosive, right? Mm-hmm. Highly. Why would there be methane tanks under the crew quarters? Kane doesn't care about safety. They're driven by profit. Yeah, so I think that's what happened. I was wondering, you know, what set off everything going to hell? Completely seemed to be some sort of an explosion. I think it was this poorly maintained shitty ship and uh, a methane explosion or something of the sort. Or some other poorly maintained thing. That blew up and then released... Released the clones. The ladder connects the safety walkway with the scum-caked floor of the pump room. The lower half disappears into the acrid liquid. Let's not jump into that. This is the elevator to the annex. Can you climb it? No. It's just the shaft. I can't see an entrance. Release valves, computer, okay. Maybe I can shut off the methane. Well, if that's just leaking out of a canister, then I don't think I could. Uh, we'll see. A buoyant methane tank. Detached. That could be important. A section of balustrade has broken and fallen away here. It's welding weakened by years of exposure to the pungent waste dumped into this room. A series of weathered and worn pipes run from the gas tanks and trail off to the rest of the facility. Alright, let's check the computer. Okay, what in the hell am I looking at here? Uh, okay, raise water, lower water level. Oh wow, I totally forgot about this thing that I just saw like five minutes ago. <clears throat> yeah, pump station diagram. That is helpful. That's what you're supposed to use. Anyway, alright, so... <laughs> Um, this is what it's currently on. It's currently on filling up and looks like the ones down below are partially worn off for th This is for emptying it obviously And these are partially worn off, but as you can see it looks like what's below is just a mirror copy So it's just whatever's on top, but the opposite Which means starting from the right it's going to be right left right up up down. Okay, that should do it. Alright, so right, left, right, up, up, down. Bingo! It's like a massive toilet flush. Uh, would you like to... There you go. This massive shaft exists to flush the collected sewage out of the chamber. The tube is constructed from an extensively reinforced compound to resist corrosion by acids and chemicals. Yeah, sewage is nasty. You really would have to use some serious material if you want it to last a long time when it's going to be constantly coated in sewage. All sorts of chemicals in sewage. A methane tank, methane gas tank has fallen from its mooring nearby. 
It rests precariously against the base of the elevator shaft and is still full. Why well, do I feel like I'm going to have to push one of these things down the hole and have it explode or something? Uh, I'm going to save again. You said it's been three months since all of this happened. Shouldn't there be a rescue mission on the way? This is a deep space vessel. It can operate indefinitely. If it wasn't for the psychological effects of deep space travel, she wouldn't even need a new crew. So nobody's looking for us? No, and even if they were, there's no way for them to find us. Three months is a long time adrift. Pipe grip. Exposed and broken pipes protrude from the ground. There's a faint hiss of combustible methane escaping from its industrial prison. Do I really want to touch that? Okay. Uh, okay, maybe, maybe not. It says I can touch it, but I can't. Let's drill it. I don't think that'll work. No, that's ridiculous. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. These don't go well together. Alright, so what do I do here? I drained it. Um, what does it allow me to actually do? I mean, I want up the elevator, right? Am I missing a hotspot? I feel like I'm missing a hotspot. You really can't grab that even though it says I can. I don't get it. I think that'll just break it. I'm totally missing something. It says pipe grip. Like it's something I can grab onto. I mean, why would I even want to shut off the methane, though? It doesn't, doesn't seem to be hurting anything at the moment. Like, what am I really trying to do here? I want to get into the elevator, right? Or something? Uh, can I fill everything back up? I don't get it. I'm gonna find something, and then I'll be right back. I just got a horrifying, horrifying thought. What if I'm missing something all the way back at the starting area? Because remember, there's two ways to go in the sewage, up and down, and I went down. What if there's something all the way back here? I bet there's something up there. There's probably a tool or something. We can really hear the party going on. Must be from the, uh, the entertainment, uh, block or quarter or whatever you call it. John Kernast? Classified. Security level classified. Hmm. At first glance, the half-submerged skeleton seems to lurk and wait, like a prehistoric predator. The skin looks... dissolved. You're 
Your bug suit should protect you from any harmful chemicals. For a short while, at least. Fallen grating. A lump of metal has fallen from this jungle of alloys. Oh, I can actually go up here. Remy Andre Borgen, classified. Brendan Brown. Just a bunch of corpses floating in here. Alright, does this lead up to... Entertainment? Oh my god, that is bright. <laughs> the broken holographic stripper. See, if these people were just killed. I did it skin. Eaten? No. I went hunting with my uncle when I was a kid. I know what skin looks like. I did it myself, but... when I saw it. I'm a vegetarian. The, um... The tone of this room is really fucking weird. Got, like, flashing party lights. Tons of noise and lights. And... Got a half-broken holographic stripper, but then there's also skinned piles of bodies everywhere. Uh. I feel like some fucking weird nightmare. Countless video screens with nothing to say. Cigarette vending machine. Ah, this is what I need for a flame. This room must have been zoned for smoking as a cigarette vending machine sits idly here. Or sits idle here, rather. Hmm. Maybe we can drill it open. These don't go well together. Or not. I guess I need money. Come on, John, why are you so poor? Be my sugar daddy. Tom Van... something I can't pronounce. Through the transparent surface of the pool table, you can see how the metal grating bends toward the massive rupture in the center of the room. Now, I wonder how this rupture happened. The metal floor grating has been twisted and rent as if by incredibly powerful hands or machinery. Hmm. Well, given the piles of bodies in here that have been skinned, I'm gonna guess it's from incredibly powerful hands from some massive beast that tore its way down there. Two bodies lie splayed on this pool table. They must have tried to escape what killed the others here. Ah, oh, pull cue. Come here. God, look at how many bodies are here. The skeletal remains lie clustered together around the room, as if they died in a stampede or clutching each other. Somehow the bones hold no scraps of flesh. The seductive dancer sways her hips to a silent tune. Uh... Silent? Isn't she dancing to the music that's playing right now? This looks like a recent addition. Oh, I thought you were going to turn it off, John. Alright, let's drill the fucker. This is a useful drill. Yeah, no nudity for you. Gotta stay pure, John. Actually, seriously, I have no idea why I just did that. I just did it because I was curious if I could turn it off. And what I actually did was take it, which means you're supposed to take it and you need it for something. Um... Oh! Oh! I need it for the motion detector! I'm gonna have a... Oh my god. That means I'm gonna have a hol like a, a half-working holographic stripper activate the motion sensor. <laughs> okay, that works. It's motion. Wow, oh my god though, it would have been so 
freaking easy to miss that. You need that. You need that item to complete the game. And I just... The only reason I even thought to do that was just as kind of a joke. As to whether it was possible to disable it. I, I wasn't actually thinking about taking it and using it. Wow. I could have very easily been stuck and never have thought of that. Thank God. The name of the club glares in radiant neon, whose ultraviolet light dances around the room. I'm trying to read the name. Something of mud? Like, I want to say basket of mud, but that doesn't that's not an A, that's a U. Is that an S? Bus Bus guy? Of mud? What? I don't know what the hell that is. You know, I still need a cigarette, though. Uh, hmm, can I shove that inside the cigarette machine or something? Go be a vandal for me, John. I know you have it in you. There you go. I need my smokes. Oh, wait. No, yeah. I mean, I guess a cigarette wouldn't create fire. I need something to light it with. So, there's actually a lighter in there. A cigarette machine that doesn't just dispense cigarettes, but lighters. That actually totally makes sense. Okay, well we've got a couple PDAs to read, and then I need to go blow something up for some reason. Gotta go blow up the methane, and then use a holographic emitter on the motion detector. But I'm gonna save all of that for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.